conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking? Yeah, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mills. Exactly. So... Okay, that's smart. Oh, there's fishies in there. Never mind that there's also like blood puddles or whatever the red stuff is, but don't please please don't fall off. Stop crying. Fuck me. Ah shit. I hate falling off shit. That's so irritating. God fucking damn it, Daniel. Can't do anything. Fuck! It's not you again. 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going, and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon, where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. What? There are valves in the cistern to redirect water from the sewer? Okay, but I feel like I did something bad. Oh, don't do this. No. No. I just... No. Oh, God. Don't tell me. How do I... Okay, I need a plan. Fuck plans! Oh. I thought that it was in the water again. Because I saw a little plop. You know the plop I'm talking about. Maybe I should get up there. Uh, if I can! This goddamn thing. Okay. You know what, I don't think that that's gonna work. Okay. Obviously this damages you. <laughs> I have to approach it like a fucking level from Sonic or something. Over here. Ah! What did I tell you? I warned you. How was my... Ah, god. You are wimpy as heck. Ah, Jesus. I... Okay. There we go. Uh... So there should be another one in this direction. There's another thing. 8th of August, 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, 
and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying. But Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. So, from what I'm gathering, Alexander was... Well, hang on. <laughs> trying to trick- I don't know what he wants Daniel for, but he's trying to trick him and saying, hey, I can make this thing go away for you. And Daniel was like, I that sounds great. Was my stomach just growling or something? Oh. Uh, fiddlesticks. Um. And so... Maybe he was actually trying to get rid of it for him, but I think that he wants that orb more than he cares about my well-being. What he wants the orb for, I, I don't know if I can put it, but that's just- I- that's what I'm getting from this so far. Wait a fucking second, there's a stairway? Or is this not gonna work for me? Are you fucking kidding me? There's stairs to this goddamn bridge? That I could have. Okay. Rock, I need you. Is this gonna work? Probably not. Who knows? Let's try it though. Aim. It worked. Of course it did. Of course it did. Oh, Jesus. Climb on top of these fucking Swedish meatballs and get this valve. Oh, great. Now what? 9th of August, 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. I don't know. I don't know, man. Also, I have to go back to one of the valves because I was stupid, didn't know what I was doing, and I turned it around again because, again, stupid. I think I'm good to go. We did find all of his journals, so that has to be it. <sighs> Am I going the right way? Probably not. Oh, I am. Good. And I ran out of oil. Blue light blinded him as it had done inside the, that murky tomb in Algeria. It was just as enchanting and... Wait, it was, yeah, it, but... It's, fuck, never mind, I don't care. Can't. Alright. So... Will it work now? No! It won't. And I'm guessing that that water isn't gonna drain until I have everything from each room. So, wait, what did he- 
repair the machine. Okay. Let's go back in here. Maybe there's something else in here that I've that I've missed. Oh wait, 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 wait. I'll bet that just like the levers in the other room, I have to mimic the position. Sorry, the position of these three, and do the same thing over here. Ah, there we go. Yep. Yep, I'm so smart. I'm so great. Can't believe I'm so amazing. <sighs> Perfect. Now please tell me that this will work. Then I don't have to go back to, to the valve room, the valve sewer place. I don't want to go back there. The purpose of the inner sanctum had always been to study the orbs and find a way to force them to yield their power. I couldn't read the rest. Oh, thank god. If you tell me that you're stuck, I'm gonna hit you. Bridge. What the fuck? We'll need a push to dislodge? Like a crank? Oh, don't give me that shit. Don't do that. Don't tell me. What more do you need from me? Crank it. Crank it good. Shit, man. Oh, I don't know. Does it need another rock to be thrown at it? Because I'll do it. I'll do it. Or me to fall off the fucking bridge like a moron. I've gone to this room. I've gone to that room. I cannot think of any other solution but throwing something at that in order to get it unstuck. Sorry. I know you're- are you probably- oh yeah, you're dying. Sorry about that. But hey, at least you're alive now. So... This is the only thing I can think of. If this doesn't work, I'm so- I- I'm so fucking confused because... <sighs> anyway, here. Let's aim for that circle-y thing. Let me just sit here for a second and think about life. Why are things so easy sometimes? Why do I overthink things? Go to the morgue. Alexander knew there must be a way to finish the ritual before it was too late. He had to teach his friend to harvest the vitae. Yeah, we, we actually we wrote about that. Thank God, but now I'm in a morgue, which isn't exactly the place I want to be. Do you see, Daniel? It has yielded. What? The shadow. It has? For now. Come, let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor, to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? Sorry. You did well, Daniel. Come, let's get going. Are there more dead men in the morgue? Yeah, probably. I think it's a safe bet. It is a morgue. Ugh, anyway. What's that? That's a spider web. Who cares about a spider web? Oh! Goodness. After making fun of Daniel for not expecting dead men. Plague outbreak. The strange deaths among the servants and the prisoners have finally been resolved. It seems that the drain sewer, which has recently been opened opened up for use as a means of transport, is plagued by, by peculiar poisonous fungi. The victims seem to have suffered an extremely quick outbreak of sin sickness affecting the entire body. Some of my men, including myself, are blissfully spared by this calamity. But it is clear that this cripples my progress. The prisoners die quickly, and their contaminated vitae lacks the energy I seek. I shall immediately start working on a vaccine. Oh no. That's not good. Hey, look at that. I fear for Daniel, for he is reckless. He's tainted by the approaching sh shadow and will not be able to pass the gate. 
Will he be able to accept this in the end? My love, I've seen evil in, here, in him. How am I to trust him with the truth? What cruel irony that I have done unto him what Agrippa did unto me. Okay, wild guess that those- every time I touch that, that's like a part of Alexander's consciousness. Or something. Okay, well at least I- I mean I don't really want to look at this guy, but... Why do you stick stiff from rigor mortis and can't be older than a day? Daniel. Do you hear me? Have you changed your mind? How are you doing that? <laughs> How are you doing that? Instead, I just went over there, over there. Uh, vaccine trials. The vaccine enabling my men to work in the fungi ridden sewer is a definite success. Unfortunately, only a few of the servants have been remedied, but as the procedure proved to be difficult. The others will perish, and eventually I will have to create more of them to keep my experiments running. Note that an injection of vaccinated blood will work as a shield it, as a shield long enough to pass the sewers without any risk of infection. It will do fine for prisoner transport. Okay. So what was it that you Yep, yeah, that's that's what you said. Let's stab him. That didn't work. <laughs> Alright. Um Oh god. Maybe this isn't very safe to be in here with, like, bodies that were infected. Yeah, let's, uh, close that not on our face. <laughs> and, um... Oh! These are- I can't believe I just noticed right now that these are saws. I kept thinking that they were bows. Oh. Man, this is just so pleasant. Such a pleasant place to be. That's- he's dead. He's probably dead. In fact, I think that a good majority of these people are dead. Especially that guy. Uh... But there are pretty flowers here, so that's good news. Although I don't see anything that I really need in here. So I'll... just leave. I can't tell if that was my breathing in there, or if that was theirs, but either way, it was pretty eerie. Okay. So... Was there anywhere else to go in there? Doubt it. This is where I came from, right? Yep. Okay, so let's go down this way instead. I guess I'm looking for a vaccine. That seemed to be a pretty, pretty direct hint. That, hey, you need a vaccine. What? What happened? Why are all these dead? Where am I? What's happening? Help! Anybody? Gross. So, he put the sick people in with the ones that are already dead, because he's like, well, you got the plague, so you're obviously dying. Three days now. This is ridiculous. Why doesn't someone come to this room? Hey! Anybody? Am I all alone here? Help! Help! I'm so tired. If I sleep... I'll wait for this nightmare. If not, I pray my heavenly father will take me in my sleep. I keep hearing some creepy breathing. Huh. This is very interesting. What is that? Copper two. Nope, that's not the button I wanted. The fine copper two found in the morgue looks like a part of a surgical tool. Like a syringe, perhaps? Why is... Why is the femur always, like, the bone to go to? In horror games or movies. These are things I need to know. 
Daniel, are you okay? It's really not that dark. You should be fine. And I, I could really use some oil, because I'm out. Maybe I should use this. I don't know why, just use the copper tube on the body. Maybe that'll do something. Eh. Cannot penetrate the skull. Oh, I need to penetrate the skull, do I? Well, uh. That's disgusting. Uh. The handle broke and is of no further use. Tube is thin, but not thin enough. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. And now. Disgusting. Gross as hell. Alright, are you okay? Did you just pass out? No need to inject the blood again. Oh, you injected yourself. Clever guy. Okay. Very good. <gasps> Shit! Fuck! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Shit, man, that scared the hell out of me. Oh, he is definitely inside. Oh yeah, he's out there all right. Son of a bitch, and I'm here with corpses. God damn it. What is he doing? Is he like eating the body or something? I hear squeakies. Should I go out and just like book it past him? Daniel doesn't seem to be doing so well out here. I don't- Well, what the fuck was that all about? Do I dare? Seriously, what was that all about? I'm so confused. Okay. I don't care enough. I'm leaving. Over here. So, I think that that's all I really need. I think I'm good to go down the stairs now? If everything worked out okay? That'd be nice, at least. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go down those stairs in the next episode. And, uh, yeah, that's it for now. I Next time we'll go and explore the sewer. So I hope you enjoyed this part of Amnesia, and I'll see you later. Have a good day.